Hey guys, today I'm going to present some evidence and the evidence comes from Wedge's mouth and that I found to be the best evidence since Wedge tweets a lot. Now this evidence may get me banned from Magic the Gathering. I thought about it and I don't really understand why I'm not banned. But it might have to do with, uh, so Wedge is very similar to Christine Sprankles. And the fact that Wizard of Coast loves him, gives them him free product, gives him free cards to preview, and gives him, uh, Channel Fireball flies him to events. Pretty much, he's, he's even allowed to work vote for the Hall of Fame, which is supposedly reserved for people who actually play the game. He has been on record for saying he doesn't have a Friday Night Magic. He's never played at a GP before, and he's never play, obviously played at the Pro Tour. So Wedge says, I didn't dance. If you make less than a certain amount, the fee for not having insurance is waived. It's public information. Pretty widely known. It's on taxes when you file them. The fact that you don't know this, that is what is weird. So in this tweet, he's saying that he makes so little money that he is not fined for not having insurance. This tells me exactly how much Wedge makes within a range. So starting in 2014, which was Obama and Obamacare, most people need to have health insurance or pay a penalty or fine on their federal income tax return called the shared responsibility payment. I wonder why they called it that. Now there are a number of things where uh, a list of things and the whole point of this is that we as a community share the responsibility of health care and I should pay for your health care and my company should pay for everyone else's health care, etc. Now some people are outside this. They're not just outside the realm of needing to pay for their own health care. They are outside the realm of being penalized for not having health care because of income. And this is what Wedge is alluding to. Wedge is alluding to how much money he files on taxes. That's a very dangerous figure to leave out on the open, Wedge. Because uh, you received quite a bit of money. Now, was the money donations? Was the money gifts? If it was a tip, a Wedge is not a what a 501c, so he is not a nonprofit. He's very for profit. So what is happening here is he's making the statement that he out of all these people who don't pay the penalty, uh, he's not part of a ministry, he's not part of an Indian tribe. It has to be number two. He's, he, he can't be number one because he doesn't have a job. People who experience hardships that prevented them from getting health care insurance, including but not limited to experiencing homelessness or domestic violence. So, mystery solved. I, I finally get it. Uh, I finally get it. Wedge's platform is tax the rich, tax the companies, but don't tax him. He falls under a category so low that not only can he not have health insurance, he also will not be not have to pay a penalty. And these are his words, not mine. Yet he can marry someone from London. He can travel. To Las Vegas, he can travel to GPs, he can buy original artwork or at least look at original magic artwork. He can go on a transatlantic flight. His wife supposedly is really wealthy and she owns a home and a car, but she works at a game store. I don't honestly know too many employees who work at game stores who are wealthy individuals. Maybe if you own the game store, that's kind of different from working at the game store. So I finally figured out the last missing piece of the puzzle. Wedge is able to do and spend like he spends because he doesn't pay taxes. 
if he's under if he's is reporting income below the point that he cannot be penalized for not having health insurance why should he ever have health insurance that payment the shared responsibility payment he never has to make it he that's the fine he never has to pay the fine because According to his taxes, he doesn't make that much. But we all know, in the magic community, we all know from his patrons, from his donations, from his GoFundMe, this is income. He's not a nonprofit 501c. He needs to pay taxes on this. He needs to pay taxes on his GoFundMe. I don't know. His taxes are going to be very messy this year or next year when he files for 2018 taxes. It is. I don't need to make any more videos about this. And I know I said that in the past, but I finally, I it was a mystery. It was like a huge mystery. I was trying to go over, you know, my, I didn't understand how someone could spend like crazy. Like he's spending like crazy just over the past month he's purchased a, a therapeutical mattress that is not cheap he's purchased shoes and blankets and all these things that will help him in his back but if he's so worried about his back he is a full-time fitness trainer he was an expert in back pain if he's so worried about that the last thing you want to do is sit on a plane from new york to london right i mean that would that would seem to me as if, if you are recovering from back pains, that doesn't seem logical to me. But it's logical to him because no matter what happens to him, he doesn't pay a dime. And this explains his political views. Remember student loan forgiveness? That money has to come from somewhere. It just doesn't, oh, student loan forgive. Okay, cool. No, the taxpayers have to pay that money. It's not as easy as it just goes away. The health insurance thing, it all makes more it makes so much sense. Essentially, you cannot get blood from a stone. So in emergency room, he shows his income which is zero or very close to zero. At the point to it's so low that he doesn't have, he's not even, not only does he not have to have health insurance coverage, he's not penalized for it. So those are two different levels. Some people don't make enough money and then they get fined because they don't carry health insurance. That's what I thought Wedge was. But now it all makes sense. If Wedge reports his income as zero, he doesn't pay a penalty. He gets tax refunds, right? He gets tax refunds. And then the donations, I got it. I got it. Um, and I don't need to make any more videos because I know what type of person he is. And that's that. Um, for a very long time, I was trying to figure out the economics, right? I was trying to follow the money. I didn't understand because I assumed that he paid taxes. I assumed that he made, that he's reporting his donations, his patrons, his YouTube, blah, 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 as income. as income because as a freelancer. So I was viewing him. So I hire a bunch of freelancers to do work for me. So I was viewing him as a 1099 freelancer and whatever money he got from the patrons, whatever money he got from his play match, whatever money he got from uh, channel fireball or, you know, it, when channel fireball flies you to a place, you should report that because that is income. When they give you, you know, the plane ticket, they give you the hotel, the pro tour, uh, let me take Wizard of the Coast for instance. When they give you a plane ticket to fly to the pro tour, that is income. That's taxable income that Wizard of the Coast is putting under you. So Wizard of the Coast isn't paying taxes on that. You, the person receiving the plane ticket, you're paying taxes on it. And it all makes more sense. If he doesn't pay a dime into the system and the system just bails him out, food stamps, Medicare, like... Med aid actually. Medicare is for old people. Med aid is for you know people who don't make money. Food stamps, um, social security benefits maybe, or disability benefits. There's all types of benefits for people who don't. 
if you don't make any money, the government will bail you out. I don't need to make any more videos on it. I figured it out. That was my only interest was to see what actually was happening. Because uh, a lot of the things did not make sense to me, right? I, I, a lot of the things don't make any sense to me um, because I hire freelancers. I have W2. Like, you pay into the system because the system will take care of the community. But there are some people who don't pay into the system. And that percentage is so low. I mean, for him not to make, for him to report that he doesn't make enough income to even be fined for not having health insurance. The, the penalty is called the responsibility penalty. I mean, how, how more illogical could it be? He has found a way not to be fined and not to have health insurance and have other people to pay for that. So what do you think he has found a way to do for food? What do you think he's found a way to do for mythic additions and original magic artwork, foil and on, you know. It's been said in a comment that maybe the charity for that he's funneling money as a charity, like there's gotta be a way he's doing it, right? There's got to be a way he's doing it because Patreon, I think after a certain amount, which he hits, they report. Uh, and Tolarian Community College has even said that he has a full time or he has hired a CPA to do his taxes. So. <laughs> checkmate. Check the effing mate. And I know that he'll he'll dodge this and he'll say the, the beauty of taxes is they can get you for five years after. So maybe they let him go right now. Um, but that's the beauty of taxes. They can always get you and you need paperwork and you need to be very alert to what you're doing. Now you can make honest mistakes, but honest mistakes don't look that honest if you're 28 and you haven't reported any income ever. Right? Like... Okay, it's the same thing with a startup. A startup can lose money for two years. That's expected. And the IRS is not really tough on you for two years because they don't expect you to make money uh, unless you have investor money, which is a different uh, issue. But after a, three years or four years, they expect you to be net positive because the question would be, if you're not making money, why are you doing this business? And how are you even operating? Or should you be operating? The same with a human being. If you're not making any money, how are you surviving? How are you living? Like, and what are your goals? Are you trying going to try to make money? Are you paying into Social Security? So let me explain how Social Security works. We all pay into it. The people who have jobs pay into and the business owners and the corporations they pay into Social Security. But some people who make so little income don't pay anything into Social Security. They only draw from it. The same with food stamps. So where does the money for food stamps come from? Hmm. Probably not the people taking the food stamps is the answer. Where does the money for Medicaid come from? Where does all this money come from that weds, you know, f uh, free tuition or uh, student debt forgiveness? You know how he says that it's student debt forgiveness? That's very, very telling of a human being because he could say from this point on, let's give free tuition, which then wouldn't affect him that but would help future generations or he can say forgive my debt he chose forgive my debt what the anyway checkmate checkmate wedgie <laughs>